I just want to say a couple of things. You know, if this virus was as bad as they say it is, um, wouldn't it make sense that these people would write for about a day, uh, maybe come back out for the second day, and then after that, everybody be at home sick with it. Now, now doesn't that make sense? Let's just, let's just be logical about this. I'm not saying the virus is fake. I'm not saying the virus is fake at all. That's my wind chimes out there if you hear them. Um, I am saying it was set loose. And this is a uh, kind of a trial run, if you will. And... A lot of people's immune systems were able to adapt and overcome and some people unfortunately we lost to it and I hate that so I am in no way uh, saying that it's false at all but there even has been reports of these doctors coming out and admitting that people were dying of the common flu um, they've been told by um, the people that own the hospitals and and and, and the, the, the 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 leftists and the and the governments to 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 or just write down cause of death COVID anyway. I honestly believe there's people dying of the common flu that are being told to their families that they died of COVID. I believe that with all my heart. There was an average, I think, of the numbers around 69,000 people a year die of the common, the common flu, pneumonia, and this and that um, every year anyway. So the fact that they're saying the numbers have reached over 100,000, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. If that was the case, everybody that's going out here doing all these writing wouldn't write, but just a day or two, they'd be homesick with, 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 with a fever right now. As bad as they say it was. So, and, and haven't you noticed all of a sudden, now that all this violence has broke out? See, because the leftists, see, here's what's happening. They have realized, well, we can't beat them. We, can't, we don't want to join them because we hate them. So if this whole thing goes, goes up in flames, let's take them down in flames with us. That, that's what they're doing right now. It's obvious. And... As far as the Lord, I want to say this. It's a shame right now that the liquor stores are open and our churches are closed. Because right now it is a time when we need to gather for prayer more than ever before. Um, during times like 9-11, the, 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 the churches were full. And, and, and God honored under that prayer but the churches wasn't full to hear sermons the churches were full because everybody just went get there and pray for this nation where is that at we we have lost that but you know what it's okay it's okay let me tell you why it's okay because in Jesus' time there wasn't a church on every corner there wasn't different divisions there was Lord help me in Jesus name there wasn't, there wasn't different denominations. There wasn't um, um, people running around here um, going to church on Sunday morning and thinking everything in the world is okay the rest of the week and it's fine just to go on back to sin. No, they were real men of God. And they were out here. They were homeless. They were on the move. And what's the Bible say? Who are these 12 men? They have turned the world upside down. Twelve men. Twelve men. And we've got hundreds and thousands of churches and mega churches in the United States and no move of God. What's wrong with this picture? Twelve men turned the world upside down when they went out by twos. And we've got a nation full of churches and it's colder than it's ever been. You tell me what's wrong with this situation. What's wrong with this picture? 
I guess that's what I should call it. What's wrong with this picture? Anyway, good day. Pray for me. I love you. God bless you. I want this to be short and to the point. Say hello to my cat, my dog down there. That's Mr. Chicken and up Sailor. They love each other. As we should. You know what? And that's two opposites. Why can't we love each other? This ain't about Mr. Floyd's death anymore. This is about a bunch of a-hoes wanting to get out here and riot and loot and get something for free without having to work for it. This is about the left wanting to get out here and pay people to get out here and start violence and trouble. About the elite wanting to take out people that they feel ain't on their level and that shouldn't even have been born to begin with. It's bad enough they, they, they aborted uh, what could be the next uh, future 10 presidents but they got to keep on and keep on with this until they burn this nation. That's what's going to happen. This nation's going to burn if we don't get back to our first love, which is Jesus Christ. Good day. God bless you.